Bisons and bears. We're back in outer range. We're going to be reading some comments from our last season two prediction video. Spoilers up ahead. Let's go. Hey everyone, welcome back to As I With Nick and John, and welcome back to outer range territory and get off my land. Yeah. So here we go. We're going to be reading. Yeah. We're going to be reading some comments. <laughs> getting in some discussions and conversations, and we obviously want to hear your voice as well. This is all about the community. Of course, the comments we're going to be reading come from all of you, yes. and we'd love to hear more of your thoughts and your comments. And we cover a lot of other shows, Raised by Wolves, Severance, and we're going to be covering a lot more, especially on HBO Max, like Westworld to... Um, I can't forget. I forgot the other one, but yes, there's a lot of other shows on our list. We have a long list, and it's getting longer. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so let's go ahead and jump in here. So Nafa says, I had the same question as John. Will the future that Royal witnessed actually happen or will it somehow change? Mm. Who is Rebecca hiding from? She was trying to convince Perry to leave the ranch. Could she have been in hiding from Royal? So yeah, I mean, I guess it really comes down to what type of time line and time travel or whatever you want to call it is this show representing mm. or honoring and uh we obviously don't know yet we've only you know kind of seen the flashes of the future from him that one time i mean do you have any guesses on this or i feel like they're gonna shoot themselves in the foot if it constantly changes yeah you know what i mean because like, i get like that but once shows do that you lose people that's when it can yes. like you, yeah. you just like lose people if there's not like a a timeline you can follow like Back to the Future was just like, this is going to happen. If it doesn't happen, you disappear. Like, it was just like yeah. basic rules. I think once it goes yes. to crazy, you need really, really good writers. Not saying they're not really good writers, but I'm just like, you really need a good a good thing. And I, I, I hope if they yeah. do do it, it's done right, which is a lot harder to do, I feel like, if they start messing with the time loops. And, and I think that's what's hurting. This is just my opinion. Marvel. Marvel yeah. right yeah. now. Because, yeah. like... It's just all over the place now with the multiverse yeah. and stuff like that, where before it was just our timeline and we can get here. And then it was it was fun in Avengers. Like it didn't go too far going back in time and with the stones like it was enough. It was enough. But like now it's just like full on crazy. Loki breaks the multiverse and it's like strands are everywhere. It's like, yeah, oh no. I, <laughs> even when they did that in Endgame, I checked out. It's like, you know what? You lost me. Like you, 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 you took it away. And I'm hoping this show this show, when it started, I was like, all right, cool. There's mm. some science fiction here, but it's grounded and they're keeping it kind of simple. It, yeah. There's some science fiction here, but it's more about a family dynamic that's strained based on what's happening to this family. Mm. And I hope they keep the science fiction yeah. themes in this relatively simple as well. And I, I, based on my feeling of the show, I think that's what they're going to do. Mm. And so, uh, nay, in response to your question, uh, like my, my feeling, and obviously I don't know, but my feeling is that they're going to keep it simple to where what Royal saw is going to happen regardless. We're just going to see whether he's going to fumble his way into this mm. happening or he's going to be forced into it happening or the combination mm. of the two. It's just the circumstances under which it's, it's all going about to happen. the journey. <laughs> yeah. I mean, which is very true, but I, I feel like that's the type of show this is going to be, but obviously I don't know. And I'll be and curious. And also this show is very heavy on drama, like family drama. Yeah. Yeah. Like that, sure. That's like the core of the show. Yes. With yeah. a little bit of science fiction with a hole. <laughs> yeah. yeah that, that's like, the, that's the show. Yeah. You got, <laughs> you got crazy Wayne, you got, you know, crazy Royal and they're going at a crazy <laughs> battle Royale, you know? <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so really cool name here. We've got Jeepster Mario. Jeepster, Welcome back. I like that. Mm -hmm. So Royal is reminded that he is a Goonie, and <laughs> it's our time down here. There. Down here, it's our time. It's our time down here. I hope you got that joke. You guys, if you have not seen The Goonies, I feel bad for you. It's one of my favorite movies of all or time. Super, watch it. super excited for you because you get to watch it for the first time. Hey, yes, you guys. That's true. <laughs> but yes, you know what? It's Royal wanted to go back down the well. And you know what? Now he's down there. It's it's our time <laughs> down here. Jeeps from Mario. Well done. All right. So Jesus Judas watching as art videos. You're in any everywhere else. You're an Audi. And he goes, if you know, yeah. dot, 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 dot. <laughs> You know. <laughs> Thank you for, for answering my question. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, That's just fun. By the way, oh, dang, I'm not wearing my Audi shirt. I was like, oh, my, oh, no. Uh. All 
All right, okay. so we have a longer one from Jesus Judas, but we'll go ahead and run through this because it has a fun question in it. So I really enjoy, do enjoy this community, fellas. This is truly a highlight of my week when you all post, so thank you very much. We, we enjoy always having you with us. And, uh, and so on our cool. live stream. You, you were yes, a lot of yeah, fun it was really, stream. really fun. Yeah. So we'll jump down to the question here. So is it possible the stone pendant Autumn was so intent on getting back was, as you said, a symbol for the cult, and potentially she had it in the future. She seemingly knows the path. Thus, losing it potentially changes the future. Yeah. So we'll just start off with that. So Unless it was uh, meant you, to be lost. <laughs> <laughs> Gosh, Nick. <laughs> I mean, so yeah. So I mean, she seemed oddly attached to that pendant. Yeah. I mean, obviously, her mother the gave rock it to her. That, the rock that the other family had. You know, the you know the dad did not want to let that go. Then the son kind of dragged it out of his hand. So there's some weird attachment to that element, but at the same time. Yeah. She was really, really like almost like drug withdrawals, wanting that thing yeah. <laughs> back. And so maybe it's not that. Maybe there's some really attachment to it. Like this mm-hmm. plays a role in something that needs to happen down the roll and or down the line. And now I don't have this anymore. What the heck happens now? So mm-hmm. there is that possibility that, you know, like what Nate was saying above is like, okay, is this a fixed future? And if so, maybe Autumn's in a position of like, I needed this thing for something mm. very particular and now I don't have it. So yeah, I don't know. But Do you have I, any thoughts on it? I think what it does is it goes with my theory where Autumn from the future jumped back. So like, like she has the stone there, but then she goes to the past and then the stone's gone now. You know what I mean? Because she took it to the past. But I think okay. it's so precious to her one because it's like the ring of power from Lord, Lord of the Rings, and it's like, let me help share the load. He's like, get away, go home. But um, uh, I think it's also maybe a gift from her mom too. <clears throat> so it's like really precious to her. And then the second part of this is my weird question right now is about Perry mm-hmm. and if his trip into the hole, which sealed it, mm-hmm. is going to come for full circle at some point to uh, being the reason his wife went missing just before the show's story began. I only go here because they've made it pretty good point of Perry slash dad. Do you know what happened to Rebecca slash mom and him being quite Mm. adamant that he didn't red herring Mm. there maybe. Yeah. So, I mean, it's definitely been, I don't know. Do you have, do you want to start off on this Mm. Nick? Well, what if his wife's also from the past or the future? Oh man, I hope there's not too many crossovers from time. I, I, mean, think, I think everyone's from a different time in this little town. <laughs> uh, don't do that. Don't do that. Gosh, don't go crazy on me. Uh, it's like that um, Beatles song. We're a real nowhere man. <laughs> like they're from nowhere. I mean, some people did point out that, yeah, it's weird that her mom just magically showed up right after her dad jumped through the hole. It's like only one of them can be around at, you yeah. know, at a time. But at the same time, it's like, well, I mean, you took out a main character. You kind of need to bring in another main character, and you need to push forward. You know the 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 young girl's you and know also, story. That's been a huge mystery. You know, yeah. All his wife ran away. Where's the wife? You know, it's, it was yeah, like yeah. constantly in every episode. Excuse so me. yeah, I don't know if yeah. Sorry. So I don't know if that's a red herring necessarily, but it's definitely something that a lot of people in the in our community here that have been discussing have been talking about. And so it's going to be interesting to see how they're going to pick that up next semester or not next semester. Uh, <laughs> this is, he's a teacher. Do. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> next semester. I guess what time of year it is. That's, yeah, exactly. that's pretty hilarious. That I did that. But yeah, so it's going to be really, really interesting to see um, how they're going to do that next uh, season when that hits. It's like, are we going to see the mom and are we going to see the younger daughter or is she gone now essentially? And we're just going to see, you know, the older version now. Mm. So it's going to be interesting. All right. So let's see. Adventure. So adventures mm. in Portland says I was under the impression that the black trail Joy follows is indeed the same oil mm. slash material from the hole. Yes. Yeah, I think it I was. Went back and I, I just yeah, I went back and I I double checked that it was. I was assuming it was too. I just thought you had to go through a hole to travel through time. That's what I was confused on. Maybe or it I was thought a hole in the tree. <laughs> I well, I thought it like okay, maybe she's gonna go into that cave that the guy kept mm. referencing, and that was gonna be the hole. Mm. You know, just like a you know, it's laid out. You know, a, a, another axis, but. All of a sudden, yeah. she was just there. So that, to me, was kind of interesting. But uh, it's also, it also interesting shows, too. It's like an oily substance. Yeah. Does oil? It also shows that it's in a lot rock. more places than yeah. just on Royals' property, yes. too. Mm-hmm. It's littered with it everywhere, quite literally. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Let's see. So Chris Wiz. Thank you says, for being on our live stream, Chris. Yeah. 
So did anyone notice Amy's mom wasn't able to come back until after Perry jumped in the hole? Yeah, so Chris, I think I yeah. referenced your your response just up above a little bit, saying it's like, yeah, it's weird that right after Perry jumped in the hole, Amy's mom magically shows up. So I don't know if that's just for show and story dynamic reasons or there was a actual story reason that she could not show up until then. I mean, do you have any thoughts on it, Nick, or not really? So I think there's something autumn and the mom autumn is older amy and they, there's something going on there because i think she pushed not pushed quite literally but she encouraged perry to jump and maybe because she yeah. we know she's she's in connection right so maybe mm -hmm. once that happens like yo he went down the hole go ahead and claim you know little me <laughs> and bring me to the cult <laughs> I'm ready. <laughs> I'm already drawing people in yellow jumpsuits and I'm already oh draw, draw, drawing yeah. the symbol. I am ready. <laughs> <laughs> Does that help? <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. All right, let's see. So uh, we have Leia M saying, anyone have any theories on, of where Perry went? Oh, they yeah. mentioned it would be in this video. But I didn't catch it in this video. Also, the future must be alterable, or it would be, or it would defeat the purpose of Autumn being there in the first place. Uh, did we say that we mentioned where Perry went in the video? Is that um, what, what I think uh, he Leia went back saying? to get the rest of those French fries he left there. I'm just kidding, no, no, because you know he was eating French fries in there. Okay, sorry, Gosh. that was just, just having some fun. Um, uh, obviously he either went two options, past or future. <laughs> <laughs> but oh, gosh. what do you think more likely? Do you think he went to the past or do you think he went to the future? You know what? I mean, I don't know. I don't I know think if he went it to was the past. Why do you say that? Because everyone else has went to the future. <laughs> Except I guess Amy didn't go to the future because Autumn went back to the, to the past, but Oh shoot. Never mind. That totally kills my argument. But I <laughs> honestly <laughs> think uh, what's well, because of the setup. Cause because, Royal just told them the whole story. I think Perry's going to go witness the story. You know what I mean? Cause it's like, it's like a full end connection. Yeah. Yeah. And he then, got this information verbally and then he's actually going to be able to experience it and almost go on his own little hero's journey where he's able to come back with that knowledge potential. You know what? It would be just as powerful if he went to the future and came back with some knowledge too. There is a possibility. We don't might see go him to again. Both, huh? I mean, that might be the, he's end in of the his future. Story. He's in the future. That's right. So Nick <laughs> had pointed out that in in the beginning of the show, when Royal goes on the other side and is in the future, he's you in the do future. see Perry over there. Yes. So Perry does show up again in the future yeah. at some point. We don't know if that's... He has to return. Yeah. Well, either that or he's in the future now and he doesn't show up again, you know, in mm. our show, but... You know, shows I'm wrong. Up a couple of people went to the past. Even even Sheriff Sheriff Joy went to the past. Wow. Sorry, guys. I'm just catching so many flaws <laughs> in my, my logic here. Let's uh, move yeah. on to the next comment quickly. Go, go, well, go, go. Well, then Leia's <laughs> last section was also the future must be alterable or it would defeat the purpose of Autumn being there in the first place. I mean, that's this. I guess the but assumption there is that Autumn meant to go to the past, though. I mean, yeah. but maybe she a, didn't mean to. I don't there's know. There's a clock. Like that's what that's why I think it's like so set in stone the future because there's like a countdown to the time it looks like to when mm. he's coming back like like if there wasn't a clock and if everyone wasn't there it's like predictable when he's gonna be there oh that's why yeah. I think it yeah. has it has to connect because like if it's always con constantly changing how would they know when he's gonna be there at that time mm. I, anyways but but yeah I mean we never really answered your first question as far as where we think Perry went as far as exactly where he is. We're not sure. Okay. The past or the future. Really nice. Nick. What, if, Thanks. what if one of them are reincarnated as the bison? Because <laughs> the bison's watching over the family. What if the bison's a character? Anyways, I'm just having way if too much If this was fun. raised by wolves, I'd say <laughs> sounds plausible. <laughs> All right. So Gary Cummings says, how could sweet Amy come out as a foul mouthed violent cultist? Well, you turn that corner and there you are. Um, but yeah, you know what? Maybe she Autumn just talked still herself drives too much me crazy. In the mirror. <laughs> I wish Autumn would have jumped through the hole well, and we weren't going to see her again. But that's yeah, going to be a fun story seeing her lose her mind, though. Not not a fun story. Obviously, it's sad. But like, but <laughs> no, like it's, it's gonna. Sad. But like it's gonna be a good like character arc 
like how well, she got I mean, to right, that point, right? Right now, she's not on her medication, right? They made a couple story points like, hey, she doesn't have her medication right now, mm. and she needs it. I'm assuming that helps her, you know, mm. that un, unstabilizes her, you know, mental stability. And so at some point, she might get some more medication. She'll be fine again. So she might go in and out of that based on having her medication or not. So we'll just see it leads what perfectly into the next comment. Oh, well, there we go. Let me go ahead and get to that then. So Ruben says, bro, aiming completely <laughs> psycho with all kinds of eyes going, uh, <laughs> yeah. And she's, she's out there right now. Yeah. I, the only time I liked autumn where I started laughing pretty hard when she started giving herself the pep talk and the, in that the mirror at the end. F yeah, F yeah. I just started laughing so hard. And then she walked, like, I thought she was going to go out and, you know, get into a fight. And then she walked five feet and then talked. I'm like, well, that you didn't need to kind of talk yourself up that much, idiot. But anyway, moving on. All right. Do, do, <laughs> idiot. All right. So the white man says, so Rebecca's obviously the big bad boss, but I wonder if Royal had something to do with her vanishing. And that's what started this little war. What bothers me is there is no pattern to the time travel, only that you go forward, you can't control where you go, and it's random how far you go forward. But Amy slash Autumn, when ranting, said she is she is the one will control the whole and be able to go backwards. We haven't seen any sign of backwards travel. Also, could Royal not be part of Wayne's family? There are only two families around the area, so he just ran in, ran to his neighbors like 100 years in the future. Um, so a few things there. Do you want to just kind well, of we We talked there? about the back travel. Yeah, there there's been well, and um, we if Amy is if, if Autumn is Amy from the future, she had to back travel to get there. Yeah. And joy is proof that you can back travel. Yeah. Unless the future is like, you know, in future in, in Futurama, the, the, the time loop is like, oh, you can't go back in time. You can only go forward. So they go so far forward where the earth is destroyed and then the Big Bang happens again. <laughs> <laughs> like like world happens so unless it's That's like it. Futurama where it's just like a continuous you have to keep going Jeez. forward big bang boom 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 you know <laughs> oh Futurama it's a, such a fun show but <laughs> yeah like I think you have to be able to go backwards at this point because joy is one hundred percent proof that people can go back in time. Well, I mean Royal, uh, well Royal went to the future, but he did yeah, come joy, back though. Joy, yeah. Yeah, that's true. He came back, yeah. and then then Joy mm. obviously, you know, went back in time, and then uh, hopefully she we'll comes if she back. Makes her, she makes her. She is in the future. Okay, she yeah. she was in the future scene as well. There's a lot lot of context content there that just went. By I'm very happy fast. we did that so, video though, like like where we yeah. kind of looked at everyone because now it's like, was she there? It's like yes, yes, we did the freeze frame. <laughs> she was there. <laughs> <laughs> But yeah, I mean, as far as uh, what you're saying, uh, the white man, as far as like, yeah, it seems like it's kind of random where you the go. The family and, thing, uh, though, is really interesting. It's like yeah, a family I mean, it's, feud through time. <laughs> well, I mean, it, it's it's okay. You know, on screen, we got the idea that he went through this hole and he's on the other end and he walked, at least from what we perceived, not very far and went to a house and he kind of just shacked up with his family and that's mm. where he is so in that regard yeah it might just be the neighbors because at the time uh you know families would hold on the land for a really really long yeah. time and they make a point of saying our family has had this land for generations so in that case yeah it would be just the neighbors now doesn't mean that he didn't travel a much further distance and we just didn't see that mm. uh but he certainly could be, you know, from that family too, uh, from, you know, the neighbor's family, a part of Wayne's family. So we just, we don't know at this point. Do you think Wayne had a hand in moving the line? So the land, so he can own the land or something like that. Like went back in time to alter, uh, to alter doc documents or something like, no, maybe. no, cause it looked like they were paying off the guy. It looked like that 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 big dude that was driving yeah. the car. No, no, yeah. no. It looked more like a payoff. Never mind. I was yeah. like, "What if?" Ooh, no, Nick, slow uh -huh. down. Put on the brakes. Let's, let's read some comments. <laughs> so the beginning is the white man saying, "So Rebecca is obviously the big bad oh. boss." You know, I don't know. Royal I mean, could Rebecca, also be the big bad too. I mean, <laughs> Rebecca just appeared. Yeah, and it's that they've thrown out hints and caused us to speculate as an audience that like they've had uh, all different parts of the family question Royal like did you have anything to do with Rebecca mm -hmm. disappearing and he's just always denied it but we've seen him deny other things that have turned out to be he was lying about yeah. so 
Diddy do something, you know, with Rebecca to where she disappeared and now she's back. And so if that's the case, you know, who that's knows? True. But my, my, it seems like she's a factor that's going to lead, uh, you know, her daughter to, to the cult type setting. But obviously, you know, we just barely saw Rebecca for, you know, five, 10 seconds. So we, mm. we don't know at this point, but it's going to be interesting to see how much of her we're going to see in season two. If at quite all. a bit. You would think, because you would have to see what's going on with Amy, I feel like. Unless that's just a, a she's just a plot device for Amy to have disappeared. Yeah, I guess But now we right. know how she gets to her future self. The assumption is, mm. okay, her mom takes her, you know, she, she ends up at the cult and, you know, whatever else. And, then we yeah, get so. a montage. <laughs> <laughs> Training montage? Wow. <laughs> All right, so we have Tanya Brooks. You guys are bringing up some really interesting ideas and theories in this one, and nice Metallica reference. Yeah, yeah. so you know what the uh, especially with the comments, uh, this is mostly uh, to credit the community as well. We're we're talking about stuff, but also we're talking about what uh, all of you, you know, the, the you guys viewers are amazing and commenting. Yeah, so uh, we definitely can't take credit for all that. Uh, but the Metallica reference, I think we did have fun doing that. I forgot. But we will we take credit. I'm just kidding. No, no, I'm just joking. No. Yeah. <laughs> no. <laughs> well, I'm glad you like that, Tanya. We're glad to have you. All right, let's see. So, oh, big says, oh, and guys, the policewoman has gone into the past without going into the pit, and she's on that guy's land that says he's been seeing mm. dinosaurs and stuff. So, on his land, there's a way to the past somehow. Plus, Royal could be a member of the neighbor's family. The boy was there when he came out of the pit. Plus, he married one of the abbots. If he was one of them, it would be weird. Yeah, I think Nick had mentioned that in a previous yeah. videos. Like, man, wouldn't it be weird if, if he's his you know, own grandfather? <laughs> It could be. It could be weird. <laughs> but it got weird. Not as weird as the Marvel movies, but it got weird. Yeah, you know what? Um, the whole way that she, the Joy, traveled to the past, um, didn't completely make sense to me. But it was still kind of a interesting thing to to see happen, and it was a sudden Narnia. <laughs> yeah, it felt like a even less path to Narnia because she didn't even travel through anything in particular just she was walking and all of a sudden she was there now I'm curious so if there was stuff in the air or if she was if she had contact with this stuff would what she just be if she was just looking around could it be also a vision because remember how Royal he he kind of just rubbed the stuff on his fingers and he was able to be present in the past for a short while then he kind of or he went back, or, or at least Autumn was able to recognize him in the past or something like that. So just mm-hmm. because maybe she's like walking in this stuff or she's inhaling it in the air in this property where maybe she's just like seeing glimpses of the past in that area. And then maybe when she walks to a certain distance, she gets out of the cloud or something and she goes back to normal. I don't know. I, I just, I'm just trying to make sense of this craziness. <laughs> I mean, they, they've they most certainly shown us visions on screen a number of times, yes. you know. Where and they're interacting with the visions, too. Yeah, I mean, they're usually physically consuming the element or whatever you want to call it. But, mm-hmm. you know, kind of it being in powder form and inhaling it would probably do the same thing. Uh, I don't know if that's the case of what was happening, but it certainly could be. Yeah. If, they, if they were in a cave, like the guy was saying, where he was seeing all this weird stuff, but, you know, that landowner, then that would maybe make a little bit more sense. That he was, She was just walking in a regular thing. We didn't see any huge dust clouds, and all of a sudden she's there. It was a little bit weirder, but, yeah, I mean, it worked perfectly fine as a, as a story device. Sci-fi. <laughs> yeah, sci-fi. <laughs> all right, so Fernandez T says, agree, Autumn was annoying at first, but I loved <laughs> Billy from the start. Oh. Billy and his brother's relationship was my favorite. Oh. Rest in peace, singing Billy. Yeah, you know what? Um, Autumn wore me out more and more as we got near the end where I couldn't stand her at all. Uh, Billy I liked a lot at the beginning, and then um, – Towards the end, I just you just didn't like the out. relationship between Billy and Autumn. Yes, you know that's, that's what, when I that's what the turning point out. was for for Billy, probably for you. Yes, yeah, because I really uh, like Fernandez is saying I really did like his conversations with his with his brother because they contrasted mm. so much and they had different and the whole idea that the dad was going to leave the whole ranch to Billy instead of his brother when his brother seemed like the smarter businessman, the more so much more the go getter. It was it was really interesting and I liked their interactions and their conversations. So Unless he knew something that, about the future. 
<clears throat> yeah, or or his dad knew that he was going to know something yeah. about the future at some point. So yeah. Uh, yeah, rest in peace, singing Billy. But you deserved it. So you got shot, you in, got the shot throat, in the neck. Man. You got shot in the throat. Good douche. So there you go. Yeah. Poor guy. All right. Let's see. Nah, not really. All right. Let's see. So Nay says. Okay, what was going on with that bison? It appeared in too many convenient places. When Perry and Rhett were driving with Trevor's body, the bison was right in the middle of the road staring at them, and Perry looked as though there was some kind of connection. So many other places it appeared in front of the abbots, I would like to think that it was something mystical. I mean, it's definitely... Reincarnated abbot. <laughs> It's definitely presented as like a mystical being. And I almost like that. And, you know, especially when you get to get to see joy in the future and you see that, mm -hmm. you know, the, the native Americans, you know, hunting and everything, it almost has that like dances with wolves and hunting and the kind of the mysticism, like it has that kind of feeling of that. And uh, yeah, you know what? It, it has almost like a religious feeling, which this show has in general with autumn and things like that. Mm -hmm. And, and uh, the whole idea of religious, you know, kind of faith with the uh, with Royal's wife and everything and how all that, you know, plays into it. And I just don't know what the bison, how it ties into the family. You know, the, the I guess the showrunners from what Nick and the viewers have said, it kind of represents, you know, spirit animals for yeah. the families and things like that. But uh, yeah, I don't know. You have any thoughts on it? Nick? I mean, I'm going crazy thoughts with this. I'm, I, I'm now I'm like, <laughs> I wonder who the bison is at this point like is the bison Who? someone yes like like is it someone mm. controlling it through a vision or maybe when they go back or they they use the stuff in the future or whatever they're able to use the bison to alter the future not alter the future but set certain things in motion like this guy needs to crash his car they need to stop here because maybe there was a police checkpoint up ahead or you know maybe it's like one of those things like we're going to see the connections later kind of thing like what the bison because it only interacts with the royals to my not interacts but it benefits the royals the bison i still just am chuckling to myself how that bison just showed up at the card game and everybody's like, ah, oh, bison showed up, going to play a couple hands. You it's, know, it's Billy like, the bison. <laughs> yeah, bison Billy is here. Woo! You know, it's like, it just, no, we, like, we, no right. we named him Bob. Bison yeah, Bob. Bob. Bison Bob, that's right. Thank you. We named we named him Bob. <laughs> so so Bob is someone from the... <laughs> it's just going to be a character now. So yeah, I mean, you know what? I I almost I almost like the idea, Nay, if we didn't get any more information on the bison, it's just this almost you know, towards mm. deity type godlike thing, kind of like Autumn I think said at the very beginning of the show in that voiceover to where you have gods walking among us that are mm. and you know, the the Greek and uh Roman gods used to be embodied as animals and it's mm. almost something like that. Zeus. If we didn't get any explanation, I just like the idea that it's just, you know, some <laughs> mystical being just roaming around looking out for things and making sure certain things come to pass. That might be fun. I know? like that. I like that, John. Yeah. That's very poetic. I don't know if it's good, but I mean, you know, it's, 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 it's you see what happens. We don't like crazy theories here. <laughs> yeah, because we don't we don't get ever go into these crazy theories. All right. So we have Sith Vicious says, I think Autumn convinced Perry uh thump in the pit and jump Wait, probably i think i jump. Oh, jump i think yeah, thank you <laughs> i think autumn convinced perry to jump in the pit knowing he would be gone so the property would be in default mm. yeah you know what i mean th she knows that she does need that land for whatever for religious you know, purposes need stuff. to happen <laughs> or just maybe she knows what needs to happen in the future and in order for that to happen if the future has to be set up and mm. set in motion she has to have control of the property. And yeah. that's one way she could have it happen is if, you know, the land defaults yeah. in that way. So yeah. she's always like, I would have got away with it. It wasn't for you. Yeah, exactly. Royal. <laughs> you, Royal. If it wasn't for Bob, the bison, bison, Bob, <laughs> always foiling my plans. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah. So, I mean that there's definitely some power plays for that property happening, but now that, power now play. that the pit's not on the property anymore. So it's very interesting. So I think it's going to go maybe, to that company. Mm. B B Y nine. B Y nine. All right, so that stands for Bring Your Nine. I don't know. All right, let's see. <laughs> so we have last but not least, Bring Math nine, Energy nine. Space Time. So that's a long name, no spaces, but Math Energy Space Time says I think they'll eventually help prevent him from murdering the neighbor in the first mm. place. So just through time travel, you, is, which is you okay. Gonna... We don't have to have a bigger story than that. If it's just to go back in time to fix it so 
they don't kill the kid and everything's all fine and dandy or whatever. And, and if they can also save the property too, it's like story ended. And I'm totally fine with it being as simple as that. It doesn't have to be crazy space aliens controlling bisons. <laughs> what do you think? Yeah, I, do you think that's I a little, know. little too simple or do you want, do you think, want more out of it? I just, you know, if it's just a rewind type thing mm. to completely fix it, you're you know, over the VHS problem that tapes. started it. That just it just kind of bothered. Like the if they just did that, like rewind and save, change. Like I think you mm. know, there's this old game called Prince of Persia: The Sands of Time, where they have this really cool rewind mechanic, so you could rewind when you died a little bit and play it again. And at the end of the game, spoilers from like 2000, <laughs> where you know. At the end of the game, he goes, oh, I'm just going to rewind everything back to the beginning. He just stops this thing being ever set in motion. I'm like, well, that's a cheap ending, you jerk. And so it's like, you know, it's just a catch all. All right, we're going to use time travel to fix all our problems. We could have just done that from the very beginning anyway. And obviously this is a little bit different because they're going to have to stumble through what yes. seems like randomness of this, you know, the journey. time travel to get there. Yeah. And again, at the end of the day, Nick's completely correct. When we're watching these shows, it's about the journey and seeing the human condition and how we all would react under these stressors and family, you know, kind of quarrels and stuff like that. And how these type of things affect where we can get, you know, an, an autumn, you know, developed into that from this young girl. And so however the ending <laughs> of the show is, I hope it's rewarding for us as viewers, but also, as long as the show is good along the way too, then it should be. It's like Game of Thrones. No one was happy with the ending, but we got a lot of overall mm. a lot of good seasons entertainment. Uh, so you know, it's like we still we still won overall. So we're obviously only in season one here. Uh, we're really looking Hoping forward for to season, season two, two. <laughs> assuming it happens. Uh, it's definitely if hasn't not, been announced yet. We're going yet. through the pit. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> If not, you guys travel through the pit. I'll meet you there as Bob the Bison. And uh, you, you want to be Bob the Bison, huh? I want to be Bob I'll the Bison. I'll be Henry can... the Bear. <laughs> no, you can be the dead bear, Nick. You... No, I'll be Henry the Bear. <laughs> no, you're dead bear. You're you're dead you're dead dead boy bear. I'm just dead weight to you, John. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. So Cheers on that, to that. <laughs> on that, go ahead and leave By the way, us check out our bear table. shirt on Azard.space. We have an amazing oh, bear that's shirt. Oh, right. I forgot about that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but go ahead and uh, leave your comments down below. There's a lot of more conversation to be had here. Obviously, these are some fun ones that, that yeah, uh, Nick fun. and myself have been reading through. Uh, sometimes we will comment textually in the comments, but also other times we'll have videos like this. We'll read them. Uh, but we just love these conversations, want to continue them. So go ahead and keep the conversation going in the comments down below. Check out azart.space for all the audio and video links, and we'll see you in the next azart. <gasps> Bison, bears, 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 bears. <laughs> oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, hey, oh boy, boo -boo. bears. Uh -huh. <laughs> it's so funny. We didn't even talk about bears. We should have said bison, 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 bison. <laughs>